Today we're going to do Uffa's first unboxing, but she started before we even got to chance. We've got two parcels, one which I've ordered and one which Masco's ordered. So he's going to take over filming for this bit. She's doing a really good job at that corner. Mind your nose. Oh, nice smell. We're trying to feed her as much natural products as possible. <laughs> Do you approve already? Um, so we've decided to order in some natural stuff. So she's got her hoof already and she's got an antler for when she's a little bit older, when her bigger teeth start coming through. But we thought we'd get her some quite high protein food for her to have a go with. We've ordered through naturaltreats.co.uk. Alpha already really likes it, so that's good. So the first thing we ordered was, we did, we ordered these venison sausages from the company. They're really good. They contain 24% protein. Well, actually, 70% of it's um, venison. So that's within that venison. 70% of it's venison. They have a little bit of beef and a little bit of minerals, but they look really good. I ordered a big lot of these, which are quite popular. These are salmon sticks. Lots of dogs really like salmon. Um, and they are... Composition is pure salmon, 67% of it protein, a little bit of crude ash, but they look fantastic. So I'm not surprised you went with those. So if you're vegan, you might not want to lick. So I've heard a lot about these. We're going to try them out. I got lots more than I thought I would. So they do like a deli selection where you can pick quite small amounts. 500 grams is meant to be small. Um, but these are trachea's from cows. Now the good thing about trachea biologically is it's made out of cartilage, so it's not bone. Um, and the thing you've got to worry about with dogs is with bone, particularly cooked bones, is them fracturing and getting stuck. So I've heard a lot about trachea. I think I might wait till she's a little bit older to have these, because they'll they will keep. Um, but I will only ever give those to her supervisor, obviously. You should only give dogs these things supervised. So they look quite good. Well, she's now in the box. Thank you, Arthur. Not facing the camera. You get. You can have a beardy bum. Got a beardy bum? Oh yes. We've almost got to it right. So this one, Moscow won't be happy that I've ordered this. But um, these are pizzles. These are the penile bones from cows. Um, but they're really popular. She's already chewed a hole in the bag. So um, they have no form of bone in them. They're just uh, like a sinew. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, they're really popular with dogs. So I think I might give her one of those in a second. So we'll give her one of those in a second. I do not want to be there. To I ordered her some liver sausage as well. We yeah. like to see lots of um, liver's really, really good for dogs in general, as long as it's good quality liver. And this one um, has 30% liver, but it's also got some chicken and beef. So it's a bit of a mixture. You can make like your own liver cake and things using actual liver, but liver is always, yeah, it's got lots of minerals and things, which is good. So got one of those. That's stored, again, cool dry pie, so that's good. Oh, Alpha really, oh, Alpha's actually picking this one out of the thing. So these are a bestseller there, which were on that list. These are black pudding sticks. Um, so black pudding's a British thing. It's kind of where you use um, bits and pieces of like offal and the blood from uh, things. So it's quite a sustainable thing because it's using up the stuff you don't want. But these are obviously um, been packaged up for us. They maybe got them loose and they packaged them up. They're really popular in the market. Okay, I was gonna get the next one out. What you got there? Why don't you go around? Go around and then you can show. Oh, there we go, what have you found? These I got because, oh, I think she likes these, she's chewed try to chew them these I got because with my previous dog I used them all the time they are fish cubes they're made up of mainly like skin from the fish um and they're dry so they store for a really long time and oh do you want to try one okay because you've been really patient she's been really good so we'll just make a little hop so they're just like little cubes like this which we're trying to eat the entire bag they're just small cubes would you like one Now, with new things at the moment, she's really hesitant. <laughs> oh, she thinks she's so clever. <laughs> you just like the smell of it. 
while she's entertained by that one, and we'll have time for the story note now they've got a hole in them. These, now, I, we actually bought some of these. I don't know if you remember, but we bought a pack of these when we were in Vancouver for Tiffin, who's our pre my previous beardie. Um, and you used to be able to buy them quite, like, occasionally from other shops. They're generally quite rare, but they, these are just um, pure dry sprats. So there is nothing else added to them apart from that they've been dried out. And generally dogs really love fish. So hopefully she'll like that too. She's still... Not really. Go to the hoof. Go to the hoof. <laughs> Look, you've just got to break it up. Look. It is quite hard. It smells very fishy. You're going to have a lovely smelling breath. It is quite hard, actually. It's got a crunch on it. Smells good, but a bit tough. Oh. <laughs> I think she's getting into it. Good girl. We'll let her finish that, and then we will show you what her other parcel is. It's a cardboard box. It's already a hit. There yeah, she does like cardboard. Yes, but there is something inside this. Now... She does have plenty of balls with that you can put treats like in Kongs already, but I thought maybe this one might be a little bit more interesting, a bit more of a challenge. And I've read up that dogs really like the colour green because they have a lot of green receptors in their eyes. So I got one of these and already admittedly it's a little smaller, but this might be a bit more of a challenge. So it's Ever Friend Pet uh, Dog Toy, but it's one of those ones where you can load it with treats and you have to either get it in from either side or you can actually load it inside the little prongs. Oh. So we, sh we shall um, unbox this in a second. And, uh, oh, oh, it's... Alpha prefers the cardboard. <laughs> Good for the planet. And it just goes to show, with children and animals, oh. just give them cardboard. <laughs> Don't know why you bothered with the box. With the, with the presents, you just wanted the box. It's a oh. ball. Oh, it smells really, really minty. Oh. Not yet. Actually, oh, so that you don't load it through the middle. You actually put the, you put the, tr the treats inside. Oh, hopefully she doesn't get a tongue caught. So as you can see, it makes it look like a monster chewing on stuff. Nyang, nyang, nyang. Uh, so yeah, so basically, Upper would roll it around and in the fullness of time, as well as sticking my hand. Good girl. They can smell the biscuits. And uh, you basically just roll it around and if they come out, then she gets a treat. Oh, here. Pardon the bits of cardboard on the carpet. That's what you get with doing unboxings with dogs. No? No? Oh yeah. Roll it around. Ooh, it's a real challenge. And she's just taken the ball. <laughs> she's going to work on that later. Later. She's, uh... It certainly caught her attention. When they just went around the corner. Oh, she's got it. Oh, oh, what you got? It might work better if there is more treats in it, but... It's keeping her occupied. Yes. She's a bit confused because normally she rolls something and the treats fall out. Oh. But the treats are there. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. I think she's almost got to hold it still and pull them out. Well, that's the whole point. She's got to figure it out. More beardy bum. More beardy bum. Oh. Bit confused. Well, hopefully, next time, we will be able to show you how she's mastered it. I think it's going to take her a while. Uffa! Uffa! Sit! High five! Thank you for watching! You can do a high five! Yeah, good girl!